Hi everybody, I'm Lorenzo, I work for the Weaver, and I'm here to show you how we handle uh, large scale deployments in the sense of thousands of small clusters with a complex uh, level of services on top in a completely automated manner thanks to uh, open network. So, for them, we need to say here is that Open Nebula has an impressive power to simplicity ratio, uh, which is, I think, at least we didn't find anywhere else uh, in any private cloud products that you can I mean, evaluate out there in a while. So we have uh, some specific needs, so we need to deploy hardware clusters around the globe. So it's not uh, the, the point is not to make very large infrastructures with thousands of hosts or VMs, but thousands of small clusters with um, a limited number of VMs on, on top. Uh, those VMs were <coughs> uh, are used to deliver virtual desktop infrastructures uh, at the edge or far edge. And uh, of course, every location needs to have contextualized parameters, networks, and whatever. Moreover, we needed a single person to be able to handle this, the whole process. And so we need to dramatically reduce the overhead of deploying stuff. So the tools we use here are no bigger, <coughs> uh, uh, hyper converged uh, edge cloud solution that is based upon the nebula, provide distributed file system, uh, integrates <laughs> recovery and backup tools, can be I mean, installed by drag monkey and operated by a pizza guy, and basically provide reliability where you don't have a reliable infrastructure or environment. Think of you know several closets where you don't have UPS or whatever. So it, it may it is built to survive uh, to very harsh environments and of course it uses open nebula at its core and no other software will uh, support the stress. These kind of environments are are, are posed too. For this project we are using Packet, as probably you already know it, <laughs> and it's in two words, it's IP form. So you got a very powerful hardware, you know, Melanox 5, Nix, and uh, Spicy Specs, and a server, you can SSH into a server in your request, a bare metal, I mean from the uh, very bias boot console in 60 seconds. So you request a server and you have a node somewhere in the world in 60 seconds. And it's impressive. Network performance is one of the, I mean, the cherry on top. Uh, I mean, GitLab, uh, you probably all know it, is a source code management on steroids that you can bring on premise. And uh, uh, we use it to define a tree of uh, configuration to be automatically deployed at the edge. The solution we use uh, to, to achieve a, 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 a robust virtual desktop uh, environment to the end users is UDS Enterprise, uh, which uh, is basically a system composed of multiple VMs. You got a connection broker and uh, exposes virtual desktop via HTML5 interface and can connect to a number of backends. Uh, one of these is open nebula and also you know make things easier when it comes to and uh, deploy a new desktop join it to the domain and all this kind of stuff is completely automated and uh, you can contextualize the, the installation and so it's very easy to bootstrap uh, complex virtual desktop environments in any location you want using UDS. So, just an overview of how we get to the results 
And if you need more information, you're free to stop me wherever I'm working out here and ask and you even. So first thing is to put some packet distances. And uh, one thing packet recently introduced was uh, L2 networking. So you can split uh, the two members of each packet host uh, to have the L layer three elastic IPs. So the public IP because you can borrow. And the, on another interface, you got a private network, which is uh, only in the private space. And that is the one we use for a uh, distributed file system and uh, any, all the operationals uh, behind the scenes. So uh, every host is connected with a public interface and a private interface. So to keep things safer and also quicker, so you don't have to route your private stuff around. <coughs> uh, I mean, to, to let the magic happen, <coughs> of course, you need to take care to properly contextualize your packet project with your keys or the keys of your GitLab CI chains and whatever. Uh, you are going to use to leverage their APIs or uh, levers. So, when you get once you get the host deployed, um, there are minimal manual intervention, but it can be completely scripted too. So you boot and host, you add the L2 layer, and you change the host uh, networking mode to mix it, which is the one which splits the LACP in two different uh, connections. Then you go, you create a git tree, and you set a uh, a token to, to give the, your automatic deployment, uh, read only asset, access to it. The tree um, you need to create is going to define uh, the properties of your infrastructures out there. So you have a host configurations, which can be you know, the public IP that you can grab from the, your, your actual packet host list. Or if you deploy hardware into the wild, you just fit, you can fit the, <coughs> the first MAC address there. So the auto deployer will recognize uh, which hardware is home, will check if there's a configuration for him on the uh, on the Git repo and download the configuration in order to apply everything you need. Uh, basically, the host configuration. Uh, you have to define the belonging to a cluster, the name of a cluster, uh, eventually management IP there, and then on the cluster configuration, you define all the stuff uh, that you need, such uh, I don't know, passwords, templates, uh, services, or the marketplace you want that cluster to grab images for. from. <coughs> okay, so we, we use in this case open and static marketplace because every situation is different, so it's very easy to spawn different marketplaces and point different images, but without having to redo everything from scratch. So you got templates from there, you just have to fill in the, a couple of, I mean, you know how open level templates are made out. So little text files, everything is in, in plain text, <coughs> clear, clearly readable, and you can even leverage GitLab CI uh, chains to test and check the syntax of your configuration before deploying. So, uh, once you have your system booted, you, you launch the uh, auto deployment script. Basically, it's not river installation, which recognizes that there is uh, something for him in the git repo. Okay? This node has this MAC address, and so it will grab my configuration and automatically goes on. So, uh, you just wait for. <coughs> Uh, the, the OK message uh, on your monitoring. And uh, you can do the same thing on any other, okay? not only packet, but I mean, with packet you're uh, able to reach 20 locations around the globe, so but sometimes you need to go at the far edge, so where it's really away from any connection, and so uh, manual intervention is needed. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, the only action you have to do 
apart from setting up correct V3, is to wait for uh, the open nebula on top of node weaver to be booted and automatically browsing the images to define the networks, booting the stuff and giving a message back to your monitoring system or GitLab uh, chain to be uh, recognized as a, everything up and running. So, uh, in the end, with just the definition of Git3 and uh, mm -hmm. a bit of copy, your end users will have access to their virtualized application or desktop, in a, which is a quite complex scenario if you think that you can deploy it in a matter of minutes in thousand locations, the same, um, the same but different, the contextualized complex environment. So, uh, of course, you have a number of choices to do so, but this is just an example. So if you want just to have a web server with three or five, it's okay. If you don't want to monitor, it's up to you. But, I mean, or you can also automatically have agents, uh, monitoring agents deployed on the NVMs, and so you will have, you know, a ready state on your chicken K, Isinga, Nigus, whatever. So, here, all, all this configuration stuff and whatever gives you uh, the ability to reduce uh, human error because once it's scripted and it's tested through a CI chain, you're pretty sure there is no damn sysadmin at that location making errors. And at least it's you. you get the job done in much less time, and uh, of course, you need less. Uh, people to follow more users, and uh, you can scale. I mean, the, the, a single person can deploy a number of clusters that were not possible before complete automation. And in large part, if not 90% of uh, the work is done, is done through the network. So now just add copy, and you are able to do so. Uh, Thanks. So if you have any questions, here there's a, I mean, our implementation of the, uh, how we grab the layer 3 uh, elastic IP blocks from packet <coughs> and data, and we set correct routing on the open end master. So uh, if, feel free to grab it, use it, test it. And uh, also our partners of UDS uh, encourage you to Give a try since UDS Enterprise is open source and that's also the enterprise version which is free forever. And uh, if you are looking for some virtual desktop solution, this is dropping compliant with the network. So you're welcome to test it. And uh, so I try to make it quick in order to get to lunch. Yes, no. And we focus. Absolutely.